Hello, my name is Dr Gareth Francis and I believe science should be fun. My company, Working Science, provides school workshops, after school clubs and even science parties. Today I'm going to show you some fun science that you can do at home. Today we're going to make a laser pointer out of household materials, things you can find in your house. And there's uh, one thing you have to buy, but most things you can find in your house. And we're going to make a laser pointer and this would be uh, useful for doing presentations or things or pointing at things. So the sort of things we're going to need are we're going to need uh, an old torch or a cheap torch like this that you can pull apart, a DVD player that we can take apart, some batteries that we can test it with, some crocodile clips and you need to buy um, something here which is called a, a laser body which is cost about two or three pounds on eBay, very cheap to buy um, and, and those are all the bits you need. Also you need uh, some screwdrivers, quite a lot of different screwdrivers including some very small ones like jeweler's screwdrivers and some little pliers and things to hold everything and you're also going to need a soldering iron and some solder and all those sort of things. So to start with um, you need to have a DVD player okay because if we're going to make a laser we need a laser and you can find lasers in a couple of places in your house and one of them is a DVD player. Make sure you use an old DVD player that's lying around or broken. Often they break and it's not the laser that breaks in them, it's something else. So get an old DVD player. It doesn't work with a CD player, okay? So you do get lasers in CD players, but the lasers in CD players are infrared lasers, which means you can't see them. So they're no good for making laser pointers. The lasers in DVD players are red lasers, um, so they're good for making laser pointers with. So we're going to open up the DVD player. You need your screwdriver obviously to unscrew it. I'll unscrew this one at the side here. And at the back, take the lid off. And this is what's inside a DVD player. You've got the bit that the DVD sits on. You've got lots of electronics. And you're going to have to unscrew the DVD bits, normally some screws in the side like that that I've unscrewed to take that out. And if you turn the DVD player over, you'll see various motors that make the DVD player spin and you'll see various other motors. And then there's a bit here, which is the bit that reads the DVD and this has got a laser in it. Somehow you've got to get the laser out. Okay, so you can use your various screwdrivers and you need to unscrew the bit here that reads the DVD and it's usually on two rails that makes it move across the DVD. So you want to unscrew that, get the rails out and then it will come out nicely. If you get that bit out, don't need all those other bits. And this is the head that reads the DVD player. It's got a laser in it, and it's got various mirrors and lenses and things like that in it as well. So um, to get this one out, you, first of all, you need a small screwdriver because it's got some small screws in it. And also you need your solder iron because they're usually stuck in with a bit of glue and the solder iron melts the glue nicely get it out. So you'd use the solder iron, I've already done this one, but you'd use the solder iron and you'd melt the glue around it like that and pull the laser diode, that's what it's called, a laser diode. You'd pull that out. Okay, so you don't really need the rest of the DVD player so you can get rid of that now. The laser diode is the bit we need and it's this gold bit inside and it's usually protected by a metal casing and that's because when you put a voltage across it it gets quite hot. Right you've got your laser diode the next thing we need to do is we need to put it in a body a metal body to protect it so that it doesn't overheat when you put um, when you put a battery when you attach a battery to it. So uh, this is a very cheap uh, laser body it's just a little thing like this off the internet. So if you take one of these 
laser body is apart, okay? It gives you a gap. You can get the laser diode that you've picked out of your DVD player, hook it inside, and that gives it a good thermal contact so that it doesn't get too hot when, it, when, you, when you turn it on. And then you can connect that laser diode just to a battery, just to check that it works. I've got a battery here you can test it with. Two batteries is what it needs. These laser diodes work with three volts, which means you need two batteries. And all you need to do is just connect one end of the batteries to one end of your laser diode, and the other end connect to the other end, because there's, there's only two bits. And then the laser diode should work. That's our laser diode. And then we just have to make a laser pointer out of it. Now, you could do, just for completion, put it inside a torch body, something like that, to get it to work. And in order to do that, you'd have to pull a torch apart a bit. And where the, where the bulb normally would be, you want the positive end of the laser diode to go in there to touch the metal connection on the bottom there because that will touch to the top of the battery so that's the positive end and then you want the negative end of your laser diode to touch a metal screen there's usually a metal screen on the inside of a torch and you want it to touch that and that's your, your laser diode